Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we're going to be looking how you can install the 5PD controller temp fix uh, add-on resource thing for your 5PD server. Um, I wanted to do a tutorial on this because I use it myself and I find it very helpful, so I wanted to just teach you how to install this. So all you have to do is come to the GTA Police Mods website, go to the 5PD con temp controller temp fix page, which will also be linked in the top of the description, go ahead and click download this file. And then you press agree and download once it asks you. Make sure to read that if you haven't read it already. You can see it downloaded this folder. You're going to need a server set up already for this. If you haven't set up your 5PD server, make sure to go watch our video we did last two weeks, maybe a month ago now, on how to create it. It is also linked in the description if needed. Then all you have to do is open up this folder and I'm going to tell you what to do next. Make sure you have WinRAR or something that can open RAR files installed on your server. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move this off the screen here, and you can see it comes with a few things. You got example images, you don't really need that. You have the controls.lula and the readme.txt. You can open the readme.txt to learn how to install this if you haven't known already. So pretty much all you have to do is extract it into your main folder, add it to your thing, to the client scripts bracket, but we're gonna go over this so you don't actually need to know this. So what you wanna take is actually this control.lula file, and you're gonna go into your server data folder, which is located in your main 5M server folder, wherever you set that up in our last types of tutorial videos. Go to your resources folder, and then inside your resources folder, you want to find 5PD. Go into here and drag in the controls.lula file into your 5PDs folder, just so it's like this. Then go into the underscore underscore resource.lula file. Go ahead and edit it with Notepad or Notepad++. I happen to use Notepad++ because I find it a lot easier to use, and I do recommend looking into that. Then go down to where you see client scripts, and you're going to add a comma. Go down, add another two, uh, whatever you call those things, bracket, parentheses, comma, whatever, quotation, I don't know, I'm too tired for this, and add controls.lula to that line. And just make sure you have it just like that. Go ahead and save it. Um, and then what we're going to do, they're quotation marks, that's what they are. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and exit out of here. You don't need this anymore. Go into your resources folder, Go back to your server data folder and you see this cache folder. Go into your cache folder. You can either delete this whole thing to delete the whole cache folder or you can go into files, go to 5PD and delete that folder. This won't delete any of your data or anything. Pretty much it just makes it so it reloads the whole thing when you go in so you don't have the scripts messing up again. All right, so once you're done with that, go ahead and start your 5M server and go ahead and log into 5M yourself. And when you join the server, make sure your controller is connected and everything is working. I'm going to use an Xbox controller for this tutorial. I have it already connected to my computer and on and ready. So all I have to do is get into the game and um, it will go ahead and use it. So um, as long as 5PD loads up successfully in here, you know everything's loaded up pretty much fine. If it gave you an error, it means probably your resource underscore underscore resource file uh, you did something wrong in. So make sure it's exactly like I did in the video. Otherwise, you'll run into issues when opening it up and running 5PD. So go ahead and go ahead and press start and to direct connect to your local host server. Now that the changes, if you haven't seen our other video, just click play and then type in your IP up here. For me, it's local host rather than my recording one. Make sure you don't click any. If you're typing local host, people do this all the time where they put localhost down here don't click those just click connect when it comes up over here all right so we're going to go ahead and join into our localhost server here you see 5pd is loading and we'll see if our controller fix works so pretty much how controller fix works is when you are running around on your server if you click any of the buttons by default without this add-on in it will open up the menus when you're clicking on your controllers so what this does is it makes it so your controller uh, doesn't have the key bindings for 5m or 5pd and rather, it only works if you're touching the keyboard. So your 5PD stuff will still work if you're on the keyboard, but will not work if you're running around with a controller. Um, so you can switch between the two, and that's what a lot of people do. They use a controller for driving, and then they switch to the keyboard when doing interactions with PEDS for 5PD. So that's a pretty cool thing to add. Uh, so hopefully this loads in pretty fast, so we can go ahead and... Um Show it off because it takes a little while to get in, especially if you delete any of the cache folder. It's going to take a longer time to get into your server just because um, it's reloading all the files and recreating the cache for that. So, um, yes, that's pretty much how it works. Anyway, we are now in. Hopefully it loads pretty quickly. Come on, 5M, you can do it. Awaiting scripts. Come on, you can do it. All right, so 
One thing I want to mention with this is make sure this is not for 5M itself, it's for 5PD, so make sure you have it installed. If you just drag this in your resource file, it's not going to work. Um, Alright, so we are in. So you can see I'm walking around with a keyboard right now, and I can press F11 and go ahead and go on duty, change my stuff and all of this. But if I'm walking around with a controller, um, you can see that now when I'm walking around with a controller, it doesn't open the menus randomly. And this would normally open a menu without this randomly if I didn't. And if I get into a car, and sadly it's going to be this person's car because it's, um, you know, a random person's car just driving by, you can see if I press any of the buttons, it's not actually going to open any of the menus, which would be like the interactions or anything. Though if I'm going on my keyboard and I press the button G, you can see it opens that, or X it will open, or Z it will open the backup menu, stuff like that. So you can see that it's successfully installed, so my controller isn't opening anything, but my keyboard is is so that's exactly what we wanted and hopefully this helps you learn about your uh 5m server and gets you working well with your controllers and everything because i know it's a high requested feature that controllers are supported while they're not supported yet inside of 5pd this does make it so you can still use them without causing a bunch of issues so thank you to the user who created this on the forums very appreciated because i use it myself and i find it very very interesting to use and stuff and um if you have questions or issues with this please contact the creator or leave a comment down in the description Thank you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow.